I was going to come here and have some fish and chips and finish my documentary, but the, the Ovaltine Cafe is closed right now. Apparently there was a fire here on Sunday morning, so they closed as of Monday. So I'm just going to check it out. The, the, the doors are boarded up, so I'm just going to check around the back, uh, see what's happening. Sunday morning, the people just uh, uh, right here, yeah. they make the fire. So yeah. here's my washroom for the staff. Yeah, yeah. So they make a fire here and the lots and lots of smoke in the store. Yeah. So my guy, uh, seven o'clock, a uh, kitchen guy, they always come here yeah, early. Yeah, yeah. So when he come to here, the whole bunch, the firefighter, yeah. and they broke in the first door right oh, here. Oh. And um, my guy just say, I have key. Yeah. So he opened the second door. Yeah. And uh, there's a lot of smoke. He just called me, he said, yeah week on fire so i check out my my phone i ch i see the last last smoke in the store yeah, yeah so i just i'm not far away so drive to here yeah i check out the chief stand here when he see me just say calm down it's okay your yeah. store is okay oh, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah so that day we yeah. we call everybody house department uh inspector everyone so, so I, they, they I really quickly come about to sunday morning at 7 a.m yeah sunday morning yeah and then your daughter must have posted on facebook uh on monday. monday yeah and i don't know what time she posted but i posted my video i think early afternoon right after her probably oh, okay and i didn't okay. know what happened right and I, when i posted it yeah. and one of my viewers i think it was yesterday or day before yeah uh he said uh, well hope the over the open back pretty soon after the arson uh we so. try and uh, it's not inside it's uh, it's pretty good actually but just yeah. just uh, you can smell the oh, smell, smell. Yeah. that's old building yeah. so this part i hired the uh, the company okay they help me to do this part since okay. i think take a little longer yeah that's like a if i i do by myself yeah. that's quickly so i yeah. want make a perfect yeah, the yeah, smoke yeah. things make people sick yeah yeah even my staff sick yeah, yeah. i don't want to get any happen about that yeah yeah so they little slow yeah it's okay take yeah. time so, we're okay yeah, but as soon as good. possible we we open so i just i just thinking i say right here i just thinking when i reopen yeah. i buy a bunch of bloom yeah. for the other friend sure let everyone know yeah. so right now we make soup yeah. that's why uh, i always right here open the back door oh, oh, oh. and also this morning i make a whole pot of soup afternoon i make another pot tomorrow yeah. i still come to here yeah. so give to the people sure if i can help them a little yeah. bit yeah, that'd be great where's before, the police station from here uh, before just here is the vancouver police department okay. and also the uh the court yeah yeah well, so i've been in that jail one time long time ago didn't pay my ticket <laughs> they took me in there <laughs> So my back door always not lock. Oh. So they from here oh. they sit in inside a whole yeah. bunch the cab judge. Yeah. So yeah. but right now they move. Uh, ah yeah. 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 That's before. not too many. Uh, yeah. That's the alley. Because yeah. I heard uh, Judge Wong he still came here for lunch in the seventies. Yes. So yes. and uh, this this gentleman I talked to last time he said well I used to talk to him all the time. This year early, he was here. He, he was. meet old friend here. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so he, he, he really happy was still open. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yesterday we talking to yeah. Lan Lao. Yeah. Lan Lao pretty happy. I still want to reopen. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he know my age. Yeah, yeah. He said I want retire. I said uh -huh. no, I don't want. So I need a long term uh, <laughs> contract. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So she's making good progress for the um, uh, for cleaning up the place to reopen it. So originally in the news they reported it was like three months. Uh, she's telling me it's shorter time. So I'm not gonna actually say what time frame, but she did tell me the the damage is mostly just smoke damage, and I think the washroom might hurt. But there's a GoFundMe for her for her already. So uh, if you get a chance, um, go to the Ovaltine Cafe uh, GoFundMe page, and uh, if you can help out, please. We're trying to keep this restaurant open.